So, we are back at three ridges. Hopefully nobody breaks their foot. And uh, I think we just decided on the trip here that we're gonna do the entire loop. We were not gonna do the entire loop. We were just gonna do part of it. We got here a little early. So we're just gonna <laughs> go for it and try to hike up to Maupin Field Hut tonight. And uh, yeah, so that's what we're doing. There goes Chris hiking up the switchbacks. There's Mike. What up? Hello, Mike. All right. It's a lot of up, I think. Should be pretty cold tonight. Hoping for somewhere in the 20s. But uh, I guess we'll see what actually happens. All right. We just stopped, took a little break. And uh, there's the junction right back there. That's the junction of the AT coming across. That's where we're gonna go back tomorrow. So right now we're on the Marhar Trail. We're gonna hike up to the Maupin Field Hut. And uh, should be pretty cool though. I think uh, there's like a cool little waterfall along this trail. And uh, so it should be about three miles, but it's three hard miles. Yeah, lunch was good, quick. I had trail mix and beef jerky and the boys had their red rockets, better known as dog dip. A little bit of snow on the ground here and there. Woo. I think I hear an owl. Woo. What do you say, we're halfway there? <laughs> Found the ice. Not positive, but I think this is I'm pretty sure this might be where Misty broke her foot. I think this is the root she got her foot stuck under. She fell right there. I think. I could be wrong. That's the priest over there. You can't really see right now, but there's snow on them mountains over there. More switchbacks. We're going down that way. We're going the speed of a person with a broken foot. But I think we'll still get to camp a little bit sooner. We're aiming for three o'clock, four o'clock at the latest to get to camp. That should hopefully give us enough time to uh, set up, get firewood, get dry, get warm, get water, all that good stuff before the sun goes down because supposed to be cold tonight they're calling for low 20s both nights tomorrow during the day is only supposed to be a high of like 35 so we'll see oh no it's a bear in the woods we made it to the waterfall it's crazy how different it looks this time this spot right down here is a really cool camp spot right here in the middle of the waterfall. And if my memory serves me correctly, this kind of goes on for a little while. And it's pretty technical in terms of needing to pay attention. Uh, there's probably going to be some icy wet spots coming up too, if I remember correctly. So, but yeah, it's super pretty. Look at that waterfall. Super pretty. As I said, it's getting technical. You can see the blazes up that way. It's been a lot of scrambly wetness. Look at these giant boulders. So pretty. You can see all the ice chunks on the ground. Looks like broken glass. And that's because it's fallen off of the trees. 
there's a good chance as we climb an elevation here that we encounter more more ice and more snow more ice and more snow <laughs> <laughs> it's not raining. <laughs> the ice is falling from the trees. Oh. Did it hit you? Almost. getting chilly. This is our winter wonderland. So it's morning of day two and uh, we had a good night. Met some other hikers here. We picked up another hiker named Dana. He's gonna kind of hike with us and then hitch a ride with us on the way back to Charlottesville today. Um, the weather is kind of not great. It's extremely icy still. Um, last night was fun. Uh, you know, we had a fire, hung out for a while. It was chilly, got down to about 27 degrees last night. Um, but all night, stuff was falling out of the trees ice was falling, uh, branches were falling, and uh, even Chris had a branch fall and poked a large hole in his tarp. So uh, today we have about seven miles to hike back down to Harbors Creek, and uh, should be a pretty, pretty good hike today. Hopefully uh, we're going up, so it'll probably be more of the iciness. Should be a good time. Pretty sure this is gonna be our day. Fighting through. Oh. Fighting through. Falling down everything. Dodging icicles as they fall. Man, this is tight through here. <laughs> you can hear the ice falling around us. Sure as heck is pretty though. Cold weather uh, backpacking is just a constant game of management. Management of your body temperature, making sure you don't sweat too much. Uh, started getting hot so I took my fleece off um, but then it's constant management of your electronics keeping your batteries warm keeping your water filter warm uh, keeping your lighter fluid warm in your uh, in your lighter it's just a constant constant thing that you have to do when you winter backpack the trail basically looks like somebody just dumped bags of ice everywhere. And 
So this little stretch here has been pretty icy, but uh, I think we're getting ready to go back up here into some elevation. So we'll see. But yeah, that's the trail. It's all crushed ice. The trail's kind of become like a sheet of ice. See, there's no more ice pellets. It's just ice and this random stream here. <laughs> but the trail just kind of goes up that way. Um, it's just slow going, I'm trying to fight our way through everything and take it easy. I'm slipping all over the place. I kind of wish I would have brought my ice spikes. I brought them and left them in the car. So I didn't think I would need them. And uh, the guy that we picked up, Dana, has a pair. And I'm slightly jealous of his ice spikes. But I think as long as we take it easy, watch where we're going, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> Hopefully. We just stopped for lunch at the summit of Three Ridges. And now we are headed down. It's about three and a half miles or so left to go. And uh, the trail looks way better. I believe if my memory serves me correctly, the rest for a little while is just a bunch of switchbacks coming up. Um, so this should be pretty fun and the sun is out so that's a welcome change but it's been about in the upper upper 20s today super cold <laughs> I don't think it's gonna get much warmer um, so we'll just have to manage that for the rest of the day and hopefully have a nice warm fire at camp Ended up having a nice warm lunch. So it's all good, man. I think this is probably gonna be the final trip report of the day. There's Mike and Chris, they're part of the ski team. We made it to Harbors Creek today. Not a whole lot of uh, whatever. Nobody was complaining the whole time down the hill. I just did a lot of complaining because my tarp was all screwed up. But uh, yeah, there's Mike and me and Chris. And we're gonna hang out here and drink some wine and have a fire. And uh, yeah, it's pretty chilly. It's like 30, five, seven, six, seven, somewhere like that. We're all pretty exhausted from fighting all the snow and ice this morning, but as you see, there is no snow and ice here, which is very nice. It's a little windy. Yeah, we gotta go find wood. We gotta go find wood, make dinner. Sun's going down over there. That's the priest way up there. It's behind that tree. All right, well, I'll check in later, maybe, but probably not. All right. Should be the final trip report. It's the last morning. Um, last night was great. It was chilly because there was a pretty decent breeze uh, coming through. So we had a little bit of trouble getting the fire going, but uh, once we did, it was nice and toasty warm. So we just hung out by the fire, had a good time, laughed until we went to bed. I think we were all extremely exhausted from yesterday. 
my hips are, I think all of our hips are pretty sore from climbing and ducking and squatting and like mustering our way through the, uh, through the icy forest yesterday. Um, but yeah, today was good. I think it got down to about 22 degrees last night. So not as cold as we were thinking it was gonna be, but still pretty cold. Um, so yeah, we got like a two and a half mile hike back to the car today. So it should be pretty, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Not expecting any kind of uh, hiccups or anything. But all in all, I think this is a good trip. Um, yeah, pretty successful. You know, aside from Chris's tarp getting damaged, there was no other, no other uh, damage, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, just looking forward to getting back to the car. We're gonna go drop Dana off somewhere in Charlottesville um, so that he can hitch a ride back to Blacksburg where he lives at his home. Um, yeah, should be pretty fun. All in all, it was a good trip. Not sure I'm gonna do any more videoing, um, but yeah, good times. right here one two three goodbye three ridges till next time